Hello there. Uh, well, another morning in Devon. Uh, another day of trying to work out what the great British weather is going to do. I don't know if you can see, we've got blue sky up there, we've got rain clouds over there, and last night looking at the weather forecast it said it was going to absolutely chuck it down with rain all day today. So as a result we've booked tickets to go to, it's not a theme park but it's a park of some description, um, but we chose the one that was it mainly indoors. But now it looks like the weather might be clearing up. So um, I'm sure it'll be fun whatever we do and uh, yeah, let's see how the day pans out. What's this place called? The Milky Way. The Milky Way, here we are. So apparently most of this is indoors, but as you can see, the sun's come out again. So um, let's hope it's worth coming here. What do you reckon, will it be? Yes, definitely, because there's most of them. Good. Apparently it's Devon's largest attraction. After talking about things yesterday about the kids being able just to entertain themselves, they don't need theme parks, they don't need entertaining, they just need a bit of outside space and rock pools. Uh, here we are again in a theme park. But that said, this is really, really good. It's so tacky, it's brilliant. Wow, that's the good one. What's this little one do? Make food. Look. What's it? Because he's got a whisk? Yeah, and he plugs the toilet. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got a plugger. <laughs> you do it. That little one. Oh, eat it. Little plows. Yeah. There's more your kind of ride from That's the end of another brilliant day and um, well, I've just come out to plug the car in but uh, it's a bit windy. Let me get in here so I can talk to you. So today really it just followed on from uh, what I was saying yesterday about uh, just kind of simple childhood pleasures. That effectively was like a, a, a local attraction. There's quite a few of them around actually. But um, you know, it was so old fashioned and um, I say run down, it wasn't run down, it just, it was like it hadn't, nothing new had gone there for years, 
but it was clean and tidy and it was absolutely brilliant. The kids loved it. And when you compare to a few weeks ago when we were in Disney, the differences, um, you know, the kids enjoyed that just as much. All right, there wasn't the princesses and all the magical side of things. But um, if you ask them what they enjoyed, you know, they went on bumper cars over and over again. Um, the roller coaster, it was a, a little bit high for me, I must admit, but um, it was great fun. Uh, they've had a brilliant day and the day's flown by, which is always a good sign. You know, we were there all day, uh, almost till the bitter end, and um, there was still stuff for us to do. So, you know, we're home now. In fact, talking about coming home, it dawned on me on the way home how few EVs I've seen since we've kind of been in the North Devon area. Now, we've been here four days. It might just be a coincidence, but when I look around, the infrastructure here is, is really bad. And it surprised me because this is a real holiday destination. And I thought that, you know, there, there would be rapid chargers, you know, a few around, just enough to be able to use. Now, obviously, it hasn't bothered us because we've been able to charge up here. Uh, but is it because the infrastructure is bad that there aren't many EVs here? Or is it because there's not many EVs here? There's not the demand for the infrastructure, the old chicken and egg kind of thing. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe there's loads around. People charge at home and people are happy. But um, it's just kind of dawned on me today. Uh, it'll be interesting to know what the answer is to that. Uh, but again, coming back to this place here, um, I think, was it not the last video, the one before when we arrived? I, um, I spoke a bit about it. Airbnb, uh, It's um, the owners are lovely. They've allowed me to charge up here uh, overnight at no extra cost. It's just a, a 240 volt outside plug. They're happy for me to let you know about it. I'll put a link at the bottom of the um, this this video so that you can come and have a look. Uh, I would definitely recommend staying here. You're in a really, really good location. If you're looking to come to sort of North Devon, explore the coast or anything around, uh, this is lovely and remote and rural, but you're literally 10 miles from kind of lots of different coastal areas. It's brilliant. So I'll stick that link in uh, and it does come from us, highly recommended. Um, have a look. For now, I'm going back in. Once this car's plugged in, we've got um, a bottle of wine just opened and uh, I think the kids are getting Uno out so we can sit and we can play some family games and um, do those important things that we just don't get a chance to do at home and have some proper quality family time. Because uh, unfortunately, it all ends tomorrow and we're heading home. I say we're heading home. We're going to stop on the way home, spend another night at my um, dad's house because there's a cider festival in a big park in Dorchester. So we're going to go there. But um, for now, if you've enjoyed the vlog, uh, remember the usual like and share. And if you're not doing so already, um, hit subscribe and then you'll keep updated with everything that's going on. Um, so thanks ever so much. Take care. Whoa, we're up high now, aren't we? Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. Ah! Oh my word. <laughs>